Happy New Year. How have you been? Did you enjoy the holidays? Oh, that's nice to hear. Me? It was good. Um, my parents weren't able to visit, so it felt a bit different, but we made the most of it. Yeah, I know, right? I can't believe it. It flew by. Ooh, that's a loaded question. If I could describe 2022 in one word, what would it be? Hmm, I'd say rediscovery. Mm -hmm. That works out because I just need to finish up this video. So how does 6.30 sound? Okay, sounds good. I'll call you then. Talk soon. Okay, bye. Known benefits of cold showers, reduced stress levels, higher levels of alertness, more robust immune response, increased willpower. For the best benefits, incorporate cold showers into your daily routine, as this takes strength and dedication. That's basically all I need to know. I feel amazing. This is one of those things where you can hear your friends talk about the benefits of a cold shower and how it makes them feel. I'm always like, yeah, that's really cool. I'm glad you're doing it. But then there's just no like interest to want to do it for myself. Until last night, I spoke to two people on this topic and they both had no idea that they were basically telling me the same thing on the same day. It was just a weird timing situation. I want to be able to try different things and stop using the excuse that it's just not for me or I could never do it, you know, like, at this point, I feel like I've proven myself wrong so many times and, and this is all good because I need to be building up this willpower and there are different aspects of my life where I'm challenging that, whether it's getting my tattoo removed and enduring that pain or you know, taking these cold showers and enduring that pain because I feel like that thing that's at the top of the list for me that is going to take so much willpower to get through is quitting smoking. This little freaking devil of a thing right here. It's like the one thing that I just can't seem to grasp and get a hold of and control. I constantly think about it. I'm an overthinker to begin with. So when I know I'm doing something to basically destroy my body, like it's hard not to think about it. But I think about it as I continue to do it because obviously that's just what addiction is, isn't it? I hate being that person who says they're gonna quit or says that they're gonna do something and then they don't follow through. I know I'm a dedicated, determined girl and when I say something, I will do it. If I don't know something, I will learn it. If I suck at something, I will practice, practice, practice until I'm decent at it. So I know that's my character, but this is like that one thing that I just haven't been able to get through. I will set a goal for myself and there will be a point where I will tackle it head on. It will be the priority. And I think I need to make, intentionally make space for that time and whenever that will be because I know that there can't be any distractions. I can't be like stressed out from work or whatever it is because this needs to be like the sole focus. This is kind of just like the candid thoughts that I feel 
right now and it all started with the cold shower hopefully you guys give it a try if you do let me know how it goes This is Maylee, AKA Luna's walker, daycare, nanny. Basically, she's like Luna's second mom. She's been around for over four years and I consider her like my extended family. From Monday through Friday, she picks up Luna around 10.30 a.m. and drops her back off around 1.30. Her daily routine consists of picking up her usual pack of dogs in her minivan and then they head to a massive park. And this is Luna's pack also known as her best friends, her inner circle, her ride or dies. This is her crew that she spends almost every day with. This is before the dog part. <laughs> you sweetheart. The little group today. Let's see, where's Luna? Come on, Freddy. Good girl. Luna wants you guys to know that she is flattered that you guys were concerned about her, but to not worry because all is well. Okay, this way, baby. This way. This way. Come. You got it. Good girl.
I'm all packed up. I'm gonna head out to Robin's. We're gonna spend Christmas Eve and Christmas Day together. A very small Christmas this year because my parents were not able to visit. This will be the first year. It's just gonna be me, Robin, and Andy. I'm gonna head out in just a bit. I actually dropped off Leo two nights ago so that I could just like focus on a few things. Luna got groomed. She's so clean right now and I just wish she could stay this clean forever. Is coming. Leo. The snowflakes will be falling. It's the most wonderful time of year. So hang up your stockings, put the tinsel on the tree, because Christmas is coming, my dear. It's the only time of year the reindeer fly. You can't see them on the sleigh ride across the sky. Do a taste test. Gather all your family round. Yeah? Mm -hmm. we'll go out and Is it good, Robin? Smack my butt, no way. <laughs> so true. Do I have any gifts? Because I don't see them. Did the baby get the least? What's this thing? Damn, it's literally Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this wasn't your name. This was. <laughs> It's fake, it's not literally Christmas. Christmas, holy shit. But the fact that four of us filled up this tree. Uh, I'm this gonna recommend this one. This one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, my favorite board game. It's a board game. Oh, it's a board game. Oh, it's a board game. Alright, you, you first. Find out your roots, girl. Seriously. All right, can everyone guess what their item is? Burlap sack, baby. Open it. Open it. Whoa! Hold on. Don't just throw that part oh. out. <laughs> like, that's the main thing. <gasps> Where does this lead to? Is that what I see? Spring 23. It's pre ordered. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> he was like, don't just. She's yeah. been wanting this. She was like, oh, 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 look. <laughs> oh, it's in. It has my initials. Love. Thank you. I love this. Anyways, what did you tell Oma? Oh. Yeah. You're gonna be nice to her? I, I 
Merry Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas. Please charge your phone. How do you live life like that? On the edge, baby. You ever go cliff diving? <laughs> Leo, look at me. <gasps> Hi, Cinco. Cinco, look. Cinco, look. What's this, a treat? She doesn't know She's that word. She's so unbothered. She loves it. We don't really have to go up there. Here we go. Hey, who have, who's this from? Me. Oh, oh do you have the dirt? Uh? It's not like because I really love this. It's called thing. After the Rain or Big Sur After Rain. I love it. Yes. Thank it's you. Got two I mean, honestly, you can never have enough. That's a good one. What could this be? More clothes? <laughs> honestly. Fun girls' night dinner shoes or date night shoes. Yeah. Party. Oh, so <laughs> Jay, oh, let me see. Those are really good. Oh my god. <laughs> Look how tall she is. <laughs> Hey, it's me. Were you able to finish everything? Yeah, I just got done too. Mm hmm So, tell me more about your year. You want me to go first? Okay, well, my year started off great. In January, I went on a wellness trip with Robin and we stayed at the Amangiri in Utah. This was on my bucket list for years and it felt like a dream to actually be there. It's tucked away between canyons and rust-colored sand. Just the perfect way to kick off the new year. Once February rolled around, I don't know what happened. Suddenly things got really quiet and the internal voices gradually started to get louder. I'm sure you can relate to this, but when you're a creative who works alone and from home, it can definitely feel isolating at times. Having too much time on my own sparked the downward spiral of self-doubt and hate. I just remember being at my lowest. I was in such a dark place and it felt like there wasn't anything that anyone could do to get me out of it. Ultimately, it wasn't until I gave myself that space to look inward. I started weekly therapy, daily meditation, and lots of writing. Lots and lots of writing. But through that, eventually, I was able to find that inner peace. I always heard about people having that kind of breakthrough moment in their life that changes them forever. This was that for me. I had to go through it in order to come out of it with this new appreciation for light. The gym was also immensely therapeutic for me and still is. I think of it like natural medicine for my brain and body. Even on my worst days, working out makes me feel 10 times better. I also picked up boxing, which was the best decision. Besides finding it really fun and enjoyable, it's an amazing release. There's nothing like hitting pads when you feel that inner tension build up. It's been really cool to see the progress I've made. What else happened? Oh, I turned 30 back in March. Looking back, I wish I would have embraced it more, but I got so wrapped up about not being where I wanted to be. But now I realize that I'm actually exactly where I need to be. Make a wish, you're three years old. I also traveled a decent amount last year. I went to Mexico City, Portugal, New York, and Greece. 2022 was really the year where I started to take trips for myself. I realized in the last 10 years, I've traveled all around the world, but for some reason, it all felt like a blur. Largely because I was unable to be fully present, but now I try to set intentional time to get away without the pressure of feeling like I need to capture everything on camera. By summer, my memory starts to get really cloudy because there are so many events that took place. I had no intentions of actually moving, but I knew at some point that I wanted to move. So I basically started the process. I got repairs done, put my things in storage. During that time, I temporarily moved in with Robin. I ended up staying with her for close to two months. Eventually, I found my dream home and by the end of September, I officially moved in. It felt surreal. 
For the longest time, I felt like I had to hold off on making these big life changes because ultimately, I was afraid to do these things on my own. But this whole process has taught me that I'm very much capable, and if I really apply myself, then sky's the limit. This change of space was exactly what I needed and the perfect way to start anew. Every day I wake up with so much gratitude to be able to call this place my own. This year was really about rediscovering my identity, getting rid of ideas and values that no longer serve me, and welcoming change and growth. It's been an introspective year, and I'm so grateful for all the valuable lessons I learned along the way. I was able to come out of that dark space feeling stronger, more aware, more conscious, and more intentional than I ever was before. So that sums up my year. <laughs> okay, enough about me. I want to hear about yours. No, no, please. I have all the time in the world. Wait, no way. Really? <laughs>